Hi, I'm Tom. I'm manager of Team Juliet. And as you can see, our brief was teach your cat to Twitter. Uh, actually, we haven't been doing that at all uh, because training cats is quite difficult. Uh, we've been using a camera provided by our client, Zcam, uh, to film a cat. And based on the webcam feed that we get, try and work out what's going on and uh, update Twitter. Uh, we've, done it, we've done this by analysing the image feed that we're getting from the webcam, uh, generating some sightings of the cat when we see the cat, um, pushing those up to a database uh, on our server where they're being analysed periodically, and then uh, the database analysis when it sees a string of sightings that seem to make some kind of sense, like the cat moving towards the food bowl, it will then generate a tweet that makes some kind of sense. Uh, the way the image detection works is uh, we actually have these hot spots which you define on your image. Uh, this is Maddingly Road. We didn't have that many cats around to try this out on. Um, the hot spots which you configure via our interface get downloaded onto the client um, and it looks for motion sort of into and out from these hot spots uh, which correspond to what ends up on Twitter. Uh, you can edit these hot spots uh, either via our mobile interface, uh, which you're welcome to try out if you're bored. Um, and that is designed to work on a mobile phone. We've also, because uh, we had a bit of spare time, we made an iPhone app, uh, which will be on the App Store any month now, I think. Um, also on the web interface, you can see pretty stats. You can see at what time of day your cat is most likely to be eating or sleeping. Um, and it'll also break down sort of, you know, uh, the sort of proportion of the different actions that have been going on. Um, as I said, it's sort of broken down into two parts. Uh, we've got a server where um, sort of everything is running from, and then you run a kind of client application on your computer connected to the webcam, and this does all of the processor heavy crunching of the images, working out the motion detection, and then just sends over uh, little updates to the server. Um, this is the sort of client software which you run on your computer. On the left is the background image it's calculated. Uh, on the right, uh, you can see this is the sort of motion detection. Uh, this is Maddingly Road at midnight, so you can tell when this presentation was written. Um, the green blob you can see there is a car moving down the road. Um, so the green is motion that it's detected, which it thinks is relevant. Uh, all of the red speckles are just noise, and because they're too small, it sort of filtered them out. And the yellow boxes are hotspots, and it's sort of based on the size of the hotspots, it sets limits on sort of how small and how big it thinks a cat is going to be. Um, the blue box there shows you the bounding box of the motion. Um, once the, uh, sort of, uh, once the uh, database analysis has sort of worked out that something significant has happened, uh, it can push the results to um, a variety of social networks, Twitter, obviously. Uh, Ping FM also, which pushes onto Twitter, uh, to Facebook if you want it to. Uh, the Facebook API is horrible, so we didn't really bother with that. Um, there's email as well, uh, if you want to send emails. We spent quite, well, over the past few days we've been thinking, you know, where could we take this technology in the future? I mean, the core technology of sort of analysing an image feed uh, and sort of detecting motion in various areas is obviously, has many, many applications. Um, there's a few sort of more, you know, ones closer to the project we've been working on. Uh, first of all, we thought of, you know, automatically captioning your images um, based on, based on the, uh, the uh, kind of behaviour that was being detected. Uh, and another one which we were pretty close to actually having ready, uh, I reckon if we'd had about three more days, uh, we could have sort of had this one uh, ready for you. Uh, and that was just analysing your uh, cat's Twitter feed <laughs> and, uh, and determining its political affiliation. Um,